Okay, guys, seriously, you gotta have to control yourself. This is not very appropriate. Genie, Mac, I mean, I know the world has come to a desperate point, but seriously? Gamers, my name is Games Kicks, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. I've cleared out a little bit up here, and uh, let me start with first of all a request. It's a bit delayed, but it is the next episode of Seven Days to Die. Happy birthday, Ground Gamer, who had his birthday on the 11th of January, when basically that was after my my last episode of Seven Days to Die. So sorry it took so long. I had uh, the people who follow me on Twitter already know I had PC issues. I had to upgrade to Windows 10. I was forced to upgrade to Windows 10, and I, um, because everything went bananas, I had a faulty uh, install of .NET on my PC. I already went over that a little bit on the first fastest episode. But anyway, um, again, I like to remind everybody, if you want to follow me on Twitter, you get these things up to date. If you wonder sometimes, hey, why is there no seven days to die? It's most likely because I had a problem or something similar. But um, on Twitter is usually where I talk and where let people know about delays or changes in schedule so again i'm sorry for that um and then i had issues with the rendering engine so i couldn't uh, record seven days to die last night come on there we go and um so basically this is the first time i'm back so i will record as much as i can i will the idea is to record uh, the looting of this village now we're gonna do that in a nice montage and it doesn't matter how long it takes um we, I, i'm sure out of the couple of hundred tunes i have uh, from epidemic sounds that i can find a few that we can queue up then the idea is to have have this as a montage where we loot all this don't worry i'm gonna cut most of that in between walking out then we will I will do a lot of off-camera grinding for wood, stone, clay, grass, any any resources, yeah? We already did a lot of potassium. Now, coal I have to find in the woods, so I'm going to have to walk around like a maniac probably and find coal. I'm not going to record this. I'm going to spend about two hours, real, real-time real hours doing that. So we might be coming back on day 20 for all I know, yeah? So, but again, I will not log out, and then we're going to do some building with the resources or if it takes really that long for me to grind all the resources we might have a day 21 horde who knows so the idea is to put a crate right here where's where's my little tool store here so we're gonna loot all this and then we're gonna put a crate right here or two and this is where we're gonna put everything we loot in we're also gonna take all the cars apart. We're gonna take all the resources. We're gonna like break them down to scrap if we have to. I know we're gonna lose some value in them, but we're gonna bring back as much scrap and things as possible to the main base because we're gonna need it. I think rebar is very expensive, but we're gonna build with. Uh, I have the concrete book now, so we're gonna build with uh, stone and concrete probably. Look at the clouds. That looks amazing. Anyway, so let me put my crates right here, and we put them actually on the wall of this guy. We put it on the wall? Yeah. Oh, what is that there in the distance? Oh, that's the passing gas, yeah. So we're gonna put it here on the wall. And then we also want to get some ramps. We want to get a ramp. Maybe... Let's get three ramps. Let's get one more secure chest. And let's get an Audi. Let's get two outers. There we go. And then we need another two um, ramps. Okay, excellent. Road ramps. So, yeah, three. That's actually better. You see, I just want to have enough room for all the stuff we're going to loot because I will dump everything just in here, literally. So, let's uh, do the chests. So, we're going to do them like this. One, two, three four then we're gonna do the ramps one two three four five six yes and the reason i do that is in case zombies come past here that they will just walk over this and they they, they, they won't even notice it. it it just it will not even be noticed so i don't want them to destroy these because i'm gonna wait until you guys are back then and then we're gonna look at them together so there we go there we go. Excellent. 
Now let's get started.
Okay, guys, um, huh, this is taking quite long, so what I'm going to do is, that was the Shotgun Messiah, we just looted, we fought a couple of zombies, and that will happen. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to loot all the other houses off camera. I'm going to switch back when I transferred all the loot from these crates, I just put it all in here, and I have to probably do two runs. I'm going to transfer them all over to the chests here. Actually, let's just... Cannot make a point right there. Ah, okay, whatever. So I'm gonna transfer all the loot over there and um, then we'll come back and we'll see. I see you guys probably, I don't know when, but I will see you when I looted the whole village and I show you then what we got, okay? We're not finished yet. We're just halfway, just about. We've done um, this whole site here, all of these buildings here. I'm just doing this building here. And then we have this area left, so I think it will be day 20 when we finish. We might actually have to have the day horde here in this episode and then do the building in the next episode. But, again, that's fine. You will have the horde then. Now, I just wanted to show you that on camera because I emptied these guys here. And then I was thinking, do you know what? Let's do a little, hey, we're halfway through point, you know. So this is what I found so far in here of importance. And uh, this was on the floor. This was in one of the boxes. And these two were in the same box. So let's see here, we have a claw hammer we don't really need because we can make a better one. Another pickaxe, wow. Oh, what is that? A chainsaw plate and a metal door. Okay, another axe. Ooh, an iron garden hoe. Oh, wow. There is a lot of rebar frame and... The last bit, what is that? A leather tanning book, which I already know, but I will read it. I read it here on camera. Oh! I didn't know it. Oh, yes, of course, all the leather I got so far I got from couches. That's right. I didn't actually make a single leather myself. Okay, so that's that. I'm gonna continue, and I shall see you then. Let me actually just... Let me just get out of here. Where is it? Oh, yeah, I came from in over there. Yeah, so let's see what we have here. So what I did is I put all the recipes here that we found so far. I In this chest, I put all these guys in... I swear I could hear footsteps. In this chest, this is all the gun parts I've found so far. And look at this, we found full guns. Some of them I actually found on camera, I think, in the in the time lapse. But anyway, I'm gonna put all my tools in here in the bottom row that I found, and then we're gonna see what we're gonna do with them. We're probably gonna scrap them all instead of bringing them along because I rather have uh, two stacks of scrap iron with me when we go back. Now these guys I will use. This one I'm not really too a fan of, so that's fine. And I will actually use the blue one then in the meantime. Okay, cool. I see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, seriously, you gotta have to control yourself. This is not very appropriate. Genie, Mac, I mean, I know the world has come to a desperate point, but seriously? Okay, guys, so I don't think we're gonna be able to go and, um, because it's already day 19, so I don't think we're gonna be able to manage to get everything back to the base and then start building on the base. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to prepare to take on the horde here in this area now not to not take a chance to break the horde i will not play beyond let me actually pause it so we don't waste the time i will not play beyond day 20 10 o'clock in the evening so because i don't want to lose the horde okay but i don't think I will be able to do the horde here. So what we're going to do now, we're going to do a little bit of, of gathering some resources and see what we need because we can make concrete. And the interesting thing about concrete is that as far as I know, let me see. I think it has to be made. I haven't actually made concrete yet here. So concrete mix is something where we need cement and gravel. And let's see, gravel, great. Something we can make from stone. In this case, we can make 114, that's fine. So, we need a lot of stone. Oh, I hear something. Oh, dogs. Wow, okay. Holy balls. That is not good.
Oh, he's still alive. Okay. Um, let's quickly get our knife and see if we can take these guys apart while the other dogs walk past. That was a bit unexpected. Okay. So they weren't really... Okay, this is usually a, a warning. So, oh man, I hope the horde is not messed up and it's coming a day early. That would not be something I would want to um, have happen. There we go. And now the last one. There we go. Now the bones and the fat and the, and the leather is all going to be good. Now I'm going to go through the, the loot I got. Okay. I don't know why Kamsen keeps saying okay. So here we found two anvils. We've I, I scrapped a lot of the wheels. Like these were the highest ones I had left. Um, I got two engines. I got a chainsaw plate. You can see it here for yourself. I'm going to leave it open for a little bit. The animal fat. We're going to take the leather. We have the leather here. Some bones. The, fly, the flesh we don't really need. And the jars. We have loads of jars. Actually, drink some water. And now here are the recipes we found. So we found a leather glove schematic, we found a sledgehammer schematic, a son of shotgun, an enforcer magazine, which I don't really know what it gives you anymore. Do you feel lucky? Oh, a magnum. Oh, that's cool, because we can actually, we have ammunition for it, and we already, oh, this is the ammunition I get over and over. And yes, I will read the schematics this time again and again, because they give me experience. So a sniper rifle schematic, we already uh, know. Pistol book, we already know. And we know that, and we know that. So we actually haven't found really anything new. Now, I've got loads of rebar frame, but I believe that upgrading these will be tough. So what I'm going to do is to... The plan to... Before I get so rudely interrupted by the dogs, the plan is that we have a house here. I'm going to make this safe by putting some uh, spikes around this. Okay, some woodlock spikes, I think. That's what we're going to have to do. So we're going to have to go on a wood grind. And that's really all I'm going to do, because I want to pretty much fight the horde outside, and then we're going to have to do one or two trips. Eh, maybe not one or two trips. This is why I have this, see, this is why I have this designed the way it is. So if zombies ever come, they have no need to destroy it, but they won't destroy it by accident. They will just run over this, okay? They will never destroy this by accident. Now, if I should be in it, which I can't, then they will try to attack it, obviously, downwards. Anyway, so let's read all the recipes. We already knew that. Hmm, it doesn't tell me that I knew it. So I'm going to actually do what you guys suggested in the past and read them from down here. So I'm going to read this one. And it says, oh, new recipe. Scrap pots or boots. Oh, okay. I didn't realize. I didn't realize that I didn't know that. So let's read the, the Enforcer magazine and the first aid kit. Yeah, I don't remember actually reading the Enforcer magazine before, so that's definitely new. Yeah, Magnum bullets, very good. And the sawn off, I don't think. Oh, you can't really see it. Like, yeah, the sawn off, I don't think I knew it. Yes. So, that is very good. So, we we did learn a couple of new things. This one I already knew, like so. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the best ones and try to make something out of them. Now, I still don't know how to make the hunting rifle. So, I have a full hunting rifle, but I still don't know how to repair or assemble it, So which is a pity. I found a full sniper rifle, which is good. But look at this. We found so many pistol parts. We can probably make a very, very good pistol. So, we have a 600 pistol barrel, a 600... A pistol part, a 600 pistol crib. I, th I think that's everything really that we need, isn't it? So if we're gonna assemble the blue one, for example, oh, this one is the least damaged. So let's take this out and this out and this out and let's put this in, this in and this in. Look at that. And then all we need is that pistol frame. So we can actually scrap all the other pistol parts. Do we have a pistol frame? No, we didn't find a pistol frame at all. Ah, well, it doesn't matter. Let me see what the pistol frames are in here. Oh, that's good. This is a good pistol frame. So you can deassemble that. 
There you go. And we put that pistol frame in there. Nice. And we have a 510. That is pretty sweet. And we're going to repair that. Take all the bullets. And repair that. And then we're going to make more bullets. That's also another thing we're going to do. We're going to make the crossbow. I'm going to leave these guys here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get some resources now. We are, um, I'm going to sort all that stuff, stuff out of camera. So we're going to obviously want to get a lot of bullet casings. I don't think I can make them yet. So let's... I want to take the bullets for the shotgun and I want to see if I can make a nice shotgun. We have a shotgun barrel. You guys were saying the sawn of shotgun is much better now. So let me see. Oh, this is just for the normal shotgun. Okay, so let's just move this shotgun barrel out again. And let's see if we have uh, the parts for a, a small shotgun. Let me see. Shotgun. Son of shotgun. Parts and a short barrel and a short stock. Oh, the stock. Can we craft that? No, we used to be able to. And um, the short stock. I don't think we have a short stock anywhere here. No. So we can't really craft it. Ah, well. Hey ho. It's not the end of the world. We have a hunting rifle, which I don't know yet, which we already went over. A sniper rifle, which I know how to build. So if we would have the parts, like good parts. Oh, I have a, sh I have a lot of the shotgun short barrels. It's a pity I don't have the, the stock for it. That would be awesome. Yeah. Anyway, so enough time wasted with that. I don't want to waste all your time now because we're going to have to prepare. We're going to have to go on a grind. I'm going to have to get all the resources with me. I take this with me. I already queued up my furnace before I started the loot run. Tons of these. So for the arrows. So I'm going to take these with me. This. I'm going to leave this all here because it's pretty safe here. But I only want to take with me what is kind of imminent to our defenses. Because we are going to have to take the 21 day horde on here. So let's take that with us. Uh, with us and the food. The fat. And the gunpowder. Okay, guys, so I, I made myself a crossbow. I'm just queued up tons of iron crossbow balls. I actually don't know how strong they are. Eh, they're, not, they're not much stronger than these guys. Well, they're a little bit stronger. Anyway, we're going to have both of these with us. That as a backup. And this as a main. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to get loads and loads of wood. Because we have to get log spikes going. So let's just put that all in here. I repaired this pistol. We have 59 bullets, which is great. So we're going to have a get out of jail card. We're going to have these our main weapons here. We have our drink here. So that's going to be an interesting horde night uh, we're going to encounter. And we have our shovel with us, which is very good. Now, the one thing I need to do is, and I always do that, is I use these windows to get in and out of this place as well. Because I like to get a place where I can get in and out very quickly. So this is usually something I do. And then what I usually do then is I have some sort of um, area around here where I can, or somewhere here an area, a patch where I can just jump off the roof or somewhere and land safely. So there will be some grass that's gonna be coming out. Anyway, so let's get out, let's get collecting. Because we need wood already all looted. Nice. Yeah, steel door has to go in here. Because obviously this is all, you know, gonna go. Yeah, the zombies are gonna not gonna be able to crawl up there because I don't want them to hit the, the roof there. So this is all gonna be locked up, basically. All right. Let's get out. And we're going to have to chop some wood, guys. And I have to chop some wood. Whew. Okay. Okay, guys. And we're back. Um, I just burnt a lot of stone here because I wanted to test something out. So what we've done out here, we upgrade one block fully now. Well, except for steel because we don't really have steel. Um, can we make steel? I can't type the word E in, so... Okay, so that... Wow, that's a lot of resources because I'm assuming we need 10 steel. So, whew, okay. Yeah, that's fair enough. I can understand that. 
Okay, so what so far what this uh, means this was 10 concrete mix okay so that was uh, 20 wood 20 wood 20 wood 30 scrap iron because you can upgrade three times from scrap and then 10 concrete mix 10 concrete makes is 72 stones because you take uh, 32 stones and turn them into 160 so you take 32 small stones and turn them to 160 stones in the furnace and then those 160 give you 10 cement and then you make 10 gravel which is another 40 small stone so it's 40 small stone plus 32 so 72 sp small stone to make 10 concrete mix so that's not bad that's not bad it's just a bit awkward because you have to burn some then it's time consuming very very time consuming so you can see how many hours of furnace fuel you have to burn just to get all the resources i'm not gonna upgrade all of these that was just me testing really that's all it was just me and i can't repair it very good it took me one hit wasted another concrete mix it's very expensive to repair seems cheaper to let it just get destroyed and uh, rebuild it anyway so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna build our defenses defenses up so this here is already nice, so let's um, get down here. I think we can get down here. Come on. Ah, nice. So let's see if this is gravel, actually. Oh, it is. Sweet. That saves me so much stone. It saves me four stone every time.
Okay, guys, so I think we're going to wrap it up. This episode is probably extremely long compared to the others, and we have to log off, otherwise we're probably going to mess up the horde. What I want to do here is, for now, I want to put these guys in. Very nice. There we go. And I have another four for this side. So, let's see. Yeah, this takes a while to destroy. And then I'm gonna have to level up some, um... Nice. That was quick. And then I have to level up some tool making, which I'm gonna do by simply making 100 stone axes or something. Oh, what is that? Hmm. Oh, hey! You're ugly. You look like the... You look like something out of the ring. Oh, you're a screamer. All right. Bloody feet. Barefoot. That's your problem. That's why you don't get anywhere. Anyway, so this is what we did for now. It's a very cheap defense. It's just basically to hold back the opportunists. We have um, a little bit of scrap iron left. I might do a round for more stones and see how far I get but I'm gonna have to log off otherwise I'm gonna mess up the horde so thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'm sorry if they take two days to make or three days to make but that's just the way it is the grind is on thank you very much for watching if you did enjoy the episode remember to kick that like button as hard as you can in the arse like a G4K ninja if you're not a G4K ninja yet what are you waiting for I hope I see you guys again and until then as always feel spaß and happy gaming